Now, in Ukraine, explosions have shaken Kyiv after authorities declared a nationwide air alert. The city's mayor says missile fragments hit a children's hospital, but no one was hurt. Meanwhile, a UN humanitarian official is saying she's appalled by a Russian strike on Zaporizhia on Thursday. Kyiv says a hotel was hit uh, and was also the site of a children's day camp. Well, our Nick Payton Walsh is joining us live now from close to that region in Ukraine. And Nick, I know that you and your team were actually just down the road when this missile attack happened in Zaporizhia on this hotel. Can you tell us about the, the, the type of people that were staying there? We're hearing reports, obviously, of a lot of children uh, being resident. Yeah, uh, startling. Each day we hear these Russian missile attacks on civilian targets, and sometimes they do sort of get glossed over, but the details on, on this one are utterly shocking. One dead and over a dozen injured, certainly, but that in itself is miraculous. This is the Reichardt's Hotel complex, not far uh, from where we've spent some time. In fact, we went to the hotel ourselves uh, not long ago and saw multiple families in its interior swimming pool, but also in the car park outside, a smaller swimming pool for children and climbing frames, a children's park there. Now, it's into the car park outside, near that children's play area, that the first Iskander missile slammed at about 7.20 in the evening. Uh, and then another one followed, a matter of seconds later. Now, the fact that the death toll and the number of injured is so comparatively low, no consolation for the families, though it's because the children's play camp ended an hour earlier. Now, given that the Russians piled two military-grade ballistic missiles into that hotel, you can't really presume that they knew the children would have left by then. And so the fact this toll is comparatively low, startling. And think about this too. After that hotel was attacked, a Russian official came forward and said that all hotels in Zaporizhia are now targets because uh, they believe that they're full of Ukrainian soldiers. That's simply not the case. So another sign here with particularly graphic detail, albeit a lower death toll, of exactly what sort of targets Russia are willing to hit twice in a matter of minutes with ballistic missiles, Christina. Yeah, Russia clearly trying to justify uh, their actions. And we also know, uh, Nick, in the past 24 hours that the capital, Kiev, has been targeted again uh, with reports of a downed missile uh, there. And this, as the counteroffensive continues where you are on the front lines, talk to us about these small incremental gains we're hearing so often about with Ukrainian troops. I mean, they are small, but how vital are they at this point? Yeah, they're very small and sometimes they are indeed reversed, but there does appear to be some fairly important progress happening to the south of Orekhiv. That's the western part of the southern front lines where uh, Ukraine is trying to push towards the Azov Sea and cut Crimea off from the rest of occupied Ukraine and the Russian mainland. Now, they do appear, according to social media video we've seen, to have got to the outskirts of Robotinia. Yeah, that's something we heard about a few days ago, but this is sort of a growing evidence. Often it appears on a time lag that that indeed is occurring. Robotinia is important because it's been essentially the Russian stronghold. They've poured re reinforcements into it, paratroopers, they've heavily defended it. And the ultimate question really is whether Ukraine is conducting some kind of maneuver around that village and beginning uh, to in fact encircle it and move on, or if they're fighting a dense war of attrition around it. But most importantly, if there are any Russian defences at further depth. We know there are some, but much of the debate has been whether Russia's defensive line is really intense at the start, because they intend to hold that and not budge, and then gets weaker the further back you push. We'll learn that possibly in the weeks ahead, but Ukrainians under great criticism from Western analysts, some on the other side of the planet, about how slow their counteroffensive is going, they would point to gains like this that they say are strategic and potentially may yield greater Russian weakness if it indeed is this place, Robotina, and those around it that the Russians are throwing all their cards at the moment, Christina. Nick Payne, we appreciate your reporting there live from Dnipro. Thanks, Nick.